what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out another video from wrestlemania roman reigns leaving wwe for some time huge wwe wrestlemania twist goldberg aew wrestling news we're gonna check this out i do know uh the reports was that uh goldberg is now a free agent so i don't know if the rumors are true of maybe aew signing him um uh, but i don't think that's the best idea i honestly think he should you know kind of just kind of retire and, and you know enjoy the rest of his, his days with his family and loved ones but that's just my opinion on it but we're gonna see what's going on with all of this appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on our channel let's get right into this hey guys what is going on this is wrestlemania back with another episode Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest wrestling news stories and rumors you need to know, including rumors on a main event twist at WrestleMania, talk Roman Reigns is taking an extended hiatus, the Tribal Chief lays in a solo Sokoa after Raw, a top star won't be on Dynamite, is Tony Khan interested in signing Goldberg, and more. Rumor, is WWE planning a twist for WrestleMania main event? Topping today's news is a wild rumor concerning WrestleMania's main event of Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship. While WrestleMania doesn't think this is a spoiler, you may want to jump to our next story just in case. Dave Meltzer reports that WWE may not have Cody Rhodes defeat Roman Reigns at Crown mm. Jewel. According to Diamond Dave, you know, the American Dream's son wins in Arabia. That's, that's an ironic twist, but I don't... I don't expect that to happen, yeah. but Roman will probably defend against somebody there. While Meltzer didn't state what he's basing his take on, it is known that WWE likes to book mega matches for its Saudi Arabia shows, with the Saudis expecting each one to be a WrestleMania level show. There are also rumors that Triple H still hasn't figured out who will go over at Mania. Damn. WrestleMania is skeptical about reports that Triple H doesn't have the finish for Rhodes Reigns figured out yet, as he's known for long-term booking rather than hastily throwing together shows. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's, it's seeming like maybe the reports are coming out that maybe Roman will retain after WrestleMania. I don't know. But I do have good, I, I guess you could say, <laughs> some type of belief that Triple H does have an idea of how things are going to end at WrestleMania. Uh, he's been kind of going crazy with the booking as of late. So it's hard for me to believe that he doesn't have an idea of how this this story is going to end and culminate at WrestleMania. I just, I find it very hard to believe that he does not have some type of idea of where they're going for the, for the future. But it may be looking like Roman may still end up holding the championship after WrestleMania. We'll see. Is Roman Reigns taking an extended leave? Is Roman Reigns taking an extended leave? That's the rumor coming from WrestleVotes and Give Me Sports' Louis Dangor. Let's look at two tweets concerning this scenario. Give Me Sport tweeted, Roman Reigns is expected to take a significant break following WrestleMania, WrestleVotes tells Give Me Sport. The belief is that the undisputed WWE Universal Champion could even be missing until SummerSlam in August. Damn. WrestleVotes added, Adding to this, I'm told this is contingent on if or when Reigns eventually loses the titles. As of now, those plans are not certain. As you can see, this report does not mm. state when the WWE intends to have Reigns drop the belts. While the WWE seems to be setting the stage for a Reigns loss, this wouldn't be the first time fans have thought he'd drop the title. Mm -hmm. The head of the table has enjoyed a light schedule ever since signing a new deal with WWE. It'll be interesting to see what he does with any extended leave. Will he take time off to spend with his family? Will he pursue any movie roles? The WWE couldn't have set up a better scenario for Roman to lose the title and leave. First, there's the storyline of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens reuniting to take out the Usos. Second, there's the white-hot program of Cody Rhodes vying to win the title his father couldn't. Cody's mm -hmm. promo on the 20th March Raw hinted how things could play out, with Roman losing the title and losing everything. Nonetheless, Ringside News tweeted the WWE is keeping things open for what happens after WrestleMania. I was told that Roman and Cody's Raw segment was setting up multiple paths for post-mania, and Cody's promo ending with multiple ways for the bloodline to go, that is, Roman and Heyman, and they are playing it very close to their vests. Plenty of rumors to sort through, and you can be sure the WWE wants to keep fans guessing about who will win right until WrestleMania. Bloodline made eventing both- Yeah. Yeah, if he does lose, I can see him being off television for a while. 
Granted, I wouldn't want him to be because I would really want to see how they're going to play the bloodline situation of him losing, him not being the tribal chief anymore, what's going to happen with everybody. I would definitely love to see how they play that up. But I can also see, if he does lose, him taking a break. I mean, the dude has been <laughs> pretty much the guy carrying the company for the past three years. So I, I would not have a problem with it. But would the show suffer from him not being there on a regular basis? Not every once in a while. Like, you don't see him for some months. That's going to be really how things play out. So I don't know. Both nights at WrestleMania? It's a bloodline world and we're just living in it. At least that's WrestleMania's take on things if the following tweet from WRKD Wrestling is accurate. However, after the match has been made official tonight, we stand firm that Zayn Owens versus The Usos will main event WrestleMania Night 1. While The Usos vs. Sammy and KO is a hot program, Dave Meltzer recently reported that some WWE officials believe Rhea Ripley vs. Charlotte Flair will mm -hmm. headline the Showcase of Immortals first night. Roman Reigns admonishes so- uh, I've talked to, made a video about this. I am still in the camp of it, it got- both nights need to end with the Bloodline storyline. It's, it's the hottest thing. I know some people are like, well, the Women's Royal Rumble, you know, winners should main event at least one night. And I get that. I understand that. But right now, the bigger story is the bloodline, bro. I'm sorry. It's the hottest thing WWE has right now. And I think you end off both shows with the bloodline. Solo Sokoa after Raw. A video is circulating on social media showing Roman Reigns admonishing Solo Sokoa uh -huh. after Roman's confrontation with Cody Rhodes on this week's Raw. This is an interesting development as it's a reminder of the apparent problems within the bloodline. Yep. In case you missed Raw or our news on the show, Cody Rhodes told the Enforcer he's not ready to take him on, leading to Solo staying in the ring after Roman and Paul Heyman left. Solo went to attack Cody, only to charge into a boot. Roman had to remove Solo from the ring, a situation some believe shows that Reigns is losing control of the mm -hmm. bloodline. And what I do you make that. of this development? Love that Main eventer won't be on Dynamite. Love that Current tidbit. AEW World Heavyweight Champion MJF is a controversial figure in wrestling, but fans apparently won't get to see him on tonight's Dynamite, as PW Insider Elite reports that he's not on the schedule for AEW's flagship show. The report did note that MJF was spotted in Los Angeles this week, this shouldn't come as a surprise given the rumors that MJF is exploring options in Hollywood. Wrestling's Salt of the Earth has a role in the upcoming biopic about the legendary Von Erich wrestling family. Is AEW interested in Goldberg? Now that Bill mm. Goldberg is apparently a free agent, there's plenty of talk about where he might end up, assuming he wants to continue wrestling. AEW president Tony Khan was recently interviewed by YouTuber Adrian Hernandez and had this to say about Big Bad Bill. I have a lot of respect for Bill. I think Bill Goldberg is a great professional athlete and has had a great career in pro wrestling and is a very nice person. He's a household name in pro wrestling, so it's interesting to hear that he is a free agent, and so that's something to follow. He's one of the biggest names in wrestling and certainly will be something else to keep an eye on for us. Would you like to see Goldberg work in AEW? No. Let us know in the comments below. I said at the beginning of this video, just let him retire. He's well past his prime. He is a goat in this in this wrestling biz for what he's been able to do and, and how he was able to get over. But no. Just no. You're trying to build new stars. Beating Bill Goldberg doesn't make you a mega star. It, it doesn't have the same weight it used to have back in the 90s and the 2000s. No. Don't do it, Tony. Don't do it, bro. Tony Khan talks up Mercedes Monet. Goldberg wasn't the only free agent Tony Khan mentioned during his YouTube chat. When asked about Mercedes Monet, who it is believed will become a free agent soon as her current deal in Japan is set to expire, working at the AEW New Japan Forbidden Door event. He commented, It's a very encouraging thing to hear. I have so much respect for Mercedes. I think she's such a great pro wrestler and certainly one of the best in the world. Any wrestling company in the world, including AEW, is fortunate to have Mercedes. Currently, she is the world champion for our partner and JPW, and I think she's a great champion for them. Monet has made it clear that she's not looking for any long-term wrestling deals. However, Forbidden Door is another story, as Mercedes could show up and wrestle a match. Khan noted, I'm glad she brought up Forbidden Door, as it's going to be an exciting event. Certainly, the shadow of Mercedes is looming large in NJPW right now. 
When AEW and NJPW clash at Forbidden Door, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. She's certainly one of their top stars, and it makes for a very interesting situation going into Forbidden Door. Last year's Forbidden Door show saw several New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestlers appear on AEW prior to the event to hype it. Might Mercedes appear on AEW TV if she decided to work Forbidden Door? WWE? I can see that happening, but the thing is, honestly, I wouldn't want her to go to AEW either. I wouldn't. Would they, could they benefit from that? Of course, but I just, from what I've seen, they're just not really good at booking someone. It's like people who come from, obviously, WWE have a big name or whatever. People want to see them in AEW. When they get there, they're all hyped. And then about two, three weeks later, the hype is dead for them. And it comes down to how they're booked, how they're presented. Look what, what happened with uh, Paige. Now she goes by Soraya. She was super, like, she hadn't been in wrestling in years, super mega over. The hype for her was real. Within a couple weeks, the hype died. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it seems like that happens, especially in the women's division, for sure. But in, just in general, anyone that comes from WWE or whatnot, it's like they're, when they get to AEW, their hype is there for a little bit. And then it completely dies or it falters very quickly. So, I don't know. I, I I would like to see her at Forbidden Door. I think that would be a pretty cool event for her to be there at. But I don't know about long-term situation, though. Are you looking at pushes for two new stars in current Raw star? The WWE Universe could see two NXT superstars get a big push when they make their main roster debut. WRKD Wrestling is reporting... Two NXT talents slated to be main roster mainstays in the next few months following WrestleMania are Cameron it. Grimes and Braun Breaker. You Cameron Grimes' debut should be happening soon. While it's unknown when the WWE plans on taking the NXT championship off Breaker, although it could have him work both NXT and the main roster. Last month, the WRKD Twitter account also reported that Chad Gable is set for a big run in singles action. The mm -hmm. WWE seems to be leaning towards this based on OTs being torn away from his loyalty to Gable yep. and the allure of Maxine Dupree's modeling agency. Why you Undertaker like reveals <laughs> when he won't sign autographs. Asking wrestlers for an autograph can be an exciting opportunity for fans, but as recent news has shown, not everyone is respectful of wrestlers' personal space when they're nope. not on the job. One person who has made it clear about his policy for signing autographs is The Undertaker, who discussed his signing protocol with The Bet Las Vegas. My kids play sports and it becomes a thing every weekend. People will come up and say, hey, can I have an autograph or a picture? I appreciate you being a fan, but I'm not The Undertaker right now. Mm -hmm. I'm dad this weekend and hopefully you understand that. Mm. Taker added that in other circumstances, he'll accommodate fans who are respectful. I'd say 95% of the people really do understand. Occasionally you get somebody that is just so entitled that they feel like you're a dick. If you don't understand, then I guess I am. What do you think of the phenoms take on autographs? And that's how it should be. He's out here with his with his family. I'm not about to, hey, you know, I'll, I'll speak like, hey, man, hey, I, I appreciate all you done for the business, you know what I'm saying? He with his fam. I just want to say, hey, man, it, it was cool to, you know, meet you. I appreciate you for what you've done. Even if, now, if you're his family's involved with that, I may not even say nothing. You know, if he walks by, I'll be like, hey, man, appreciate your work, all you've done. Leave it at that, you know, but, you know, it, it, it's a time and a place. And there's someone feeling entitled because The Undertaker didn't give him a, 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 an autograph. Oh, fucking well. <laughs> Carmella taking time off? Where was Carmella on the 20th March Raw? The two-time SmackDown Women's Champion was scheduled to team with her new bestie, Chelsea Green, to take on Bianca Belair and Asuka, but was replaced by Piper Niven. Apparently, that wasn't the only show Mella missed. As a Fightful Select write-up notes, Carmella was off this weekend's house shows as well. The plan had been to continue with she and Chelsea Green, but the decision was made over the weekend to replace her with Piper Niven. Nobody we spoke to had an update. The current word is that Carmella will continue her team with Chelsea when she returns. WrestleMania mm. will continue monitoring this story. Really WWE <laughs> unveils new SummerSlam logo. Last but not least, while SummerSlam is still a few months away, the WWE has unveiled its logo for this year's biggest party of the summer. Oh, okay. As Wrestling not News' bad. Angel Aramboles pointed out, the logo has evolved over the years, and in recent years, they have tried to do something similar to what they do with the WrestleMania logo, with the colors and look matching what the city is most known for. 
In this case, they're keeping in line with the Motor City vibe. Mm -hmm. If the rumors of a John Cena vs. Logan Paul match prove true, this year's PLE is already on its way to becoming a must-see show. Well, guys, there you have it, the hey, wildest... Man. That wasn't bad. Wasn't a bad uh, logo at all. It matches the theme of where they're going to be at. Uh, but, yeah, it's really interesting to see what's going to happen with this whole Roman Reigns situation in WrestleMania. That's what has it even, you know, a lot of people talking even more. Will he drop the titles? Will he have them... How long, you know what I'm saying, will he be gone if he does drop the titles? It's, you don't know. We don't know. All we can do is speculate, and that's what makes it great. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel that Roman will hold the titles until after WrestleMania? Do you guys feel he will drop them at this year's WrestleMania? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys were showing on the channel. Road to 150K. I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World, and you're in the Clutch World Heavyweight Champion. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next week. Peace.